Welcome to the Paris vlog. I've got two fans going because there's currently a heat wave in Paris. Today it is gonna be 37 degrees, which I believe in Fahrenheit is like, I wanna say like 95. The last time I was in Paris, about seven years ago, there was also a heat wave. It's like absolutely unequivocally too hot, but we're in Paris, so it doesn't matter and we're still gonna enjoy it. We had the most incredible first day. But anyway, it's day two. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of shopping and then we're doing the Louvre today. Figured it would be good to go somewhere indoors where there's some sort of cooling system. Um, so we'll be doing that. Also, this is a little glimpse of our Airbnb. I'm not gonna show you that half of the room because it looks like a bomb went off because it's just suitcases and bags and clothes and all that. It's a beautiful, beautiful room and we're super centrally located. We're right across from the um, Tuileries Gardens, so very, very close to a lot of things. But anyway, this is what I'm wearing today and hopefully I don't sweat through it all. We'll see. Got on a little tank, the skirt, which has some good ventilation and sandals that are going to be really comfy to walk in. And then just all my regular jewelry. And then I've put my hair up because I don't want it to anywhere on my body. I've been wearing it in this claw clip style for um, a huge chunk of the trip just because everywhere we've gone it's been pretty hot and I feel like it's a really cute little hairstyle that makes it look like you put in an effort when all you really did was like twirl your hair and throw a clip in so I mean I guess that's all claw clip styles. I'm gonna go break the heat. cheering I mean it's great people are having a good time but when I tell you it feels like we are on the surface of the Sun I'm not kidding very hot but this is hitting the spot I got crunchy chocolate and raspberry and the raspberry literally tastes like they picked the raspberries crushed them up and like froze them this morning that's amazing attempting to use this gorgeous old vintage elevator in the building of the Airbnb we're staying in. luckily it's already here so we thought it'd be the perfect time Hopefully you don't get stuck. It's very small. Okay, can you press the button? We did it. We survived. Okay, that was not so bad.
the day. I'm just accepting the fact that these European vlogs, it's not gonna be much talking throughout the day because I'm just I'm just taking in the sights, you know? Had an amazing day. It was supposed to be really hot again today. It was supposed to be, I think, like 33 degrees, but something happened and the heat cut in half. So it was only like, I think it only got up to like 24 today. Perfect walking weather, absolutely amazing. Now this is my view. A little noisy here and there, but that's the trade-off for being literally around the uh, the corner from the Louvre. Currently going to enjoy some wine. This is the wine from our dinner yesterday that we didn't finish. We went to La Fontaine de Mars, which was... I mean, you know what? At this point, I feel like I need to stop saying that things were good because I feel like every single thing I've eaten here, every place I've gone has just been out of this world. But did get a bottle and we didn't finish it because we actually had dinner at 10 o'clock yesterday, like real Europeans. So by the end of it, we were pretty sleepy and the wine was only gonna expedite that. So we figured we'll have it today. Also our Airbnb host left us this lovely French beer. And we actually went to Pink Mama today for lunch. We had a huge lunch, so we're still not very hungry. So we decided just to do like a little charcuterie situation. So prosciutto, some chips, olive crackers. We've also rejigged the apartment a little bit. So my suitcase actually used to be here by the window. And then we thought we'd put the suitcase by the bed and move the table by the window so we can sit by the window and enjoy and like feel Parisian, you know, and enjoy this gorgeous situation. Also for reference, when I say we're around the corner from the Tuileries Gardens in the mm -hmm. Louvre, like I am not joking. Those are the Tuileries Gardens and literally around the corner is the Louvre insane and then these arcades here is rue de rivoli and it's got all these like gorgeous little shops on either side and they go all the way this way and all the way that way oh and then cafe kitsune is literally right there i'm gonna pop that open go yeah. for it oh okay that wasn't so bad anyway what a way to end the day what a way to end the day <laughs> amazing and cheers cheers the French vibes are just, they're something else. They're something else entirely. It's like every street corner you walk down, you see something that you've never seen before, but it's just as beautiful as the last thing you saw. Thank you, I have to hydrate. On the way to Sacre Coeur, <laughs> we happened upon this really, really beautiful jewelry store and I got a bunch of stuff. This was one of the things, sorry, there's like a huge group of people walking by. This green and gold bracelet, which I'm obsessed with. I am in my green era currently, as you can, tell also by happy face bracelet they had a little lemon water cooler there and mini uh buenos which just added to the shopping experience <laughs> yeah other than that it was just a lot of strolling and taking in the city I'm gonna have an early night tonight so i will see you tomorrow It is the last full day in Paris. I'm sitting by the balcony again. As you may have been able to tell, or maybe you can't, let me show you. It's really overcast today, as you can see. And it is also quite chilly, which is welcome, quite frankly, after the trip we've had. No complaints, just I am happy to say goodbye to the heat for a little bit, get a little bit of cool weather. I also packed a lot of layers because when I was looking at the weather for this trip before we got here, there were gonna be, there was gonna be just like a better mix of cool and hot days. So I also brought like sweaters and blazers that I haven't gotten to use in a while that are very heavy in your bag. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm actually getting to wear them. But yeah, I have this dress shirt on today and then um, a nice big oversized blazer. First stop today, is saddle at Kith. Gonna get some breakfast. After that, we're gonna do the Champs Elysees, see the Arc de Triomphe, walk around, enjoy, do the L'Orangerie Museum, which is, I think, my favorite museum in Paris. But other than that, we're just gonna enjoy our last day here on this trip. That really is all there is to say at this point. I'm gonna get the day started. I will uh, take you along with me and let's get this day started.
front of us is the Louvre. All of this, 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 this. And then our apartment is right in there. We're literally like walking distance to all of this, which is insane. As you can probably tell, the sun is out and I'm sweating. So I took my blazer off. But here's the Arc. Looks stunning. The Arc de Triomphe. Every time I see it, I forget how big it actually is in real life. You can probably see like the tiny people. It's huge. And then this is just an insane intersection. In order to get to the other side, you have to go underground, but I think the view's better from here. Back to the Louvre. We're doing a night viewing. Gorgeous as ever. I've actually never been at night. So this is a first for me. This is beautiful. Also, last time we were in this courtyard area, it was like 38 degrees, so this is much nicer. 